Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Mexidog here. Uh, this tutorial is following from the other tutorials that I've been making uh, for modding Gears Revenge. Alright, this tutorial is based on buildings. So, for instance, the Soviet construction yard, the Allied air base for planes and such, and uh, war factory, yada yada yada. So anyways, if you haven't already done so, check out the first vid to see how to get XCC Mixer to get rules md.ini, or if you already have it, then let's get started. Alright, first thing you want to do is head over to rules rulesmd.ini, and go ahead and open that up. Alright, rules MD dot I and I. Once you get that open, what you want to do is go ahead and type in Control F, the command key, and search for. Um, let's go ahead and search for the Allied Air Headquarters, Air Base thing, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna search for Control F. Allied buildings. All right, Allied buildings. Just scroll down, see until you see the air base or whatever you want to call it, or whatever the proper name is for it. Is that Air Force Command Headquarters? Okay, that. Um, okay, let's. <clears throat> okay, let's try to take. Hey, what we're gonna do is we're going to put a. Let's try. Let, we're, what we're gonna do is put a primary weapon on here. But before we get to all that, what I want to do is lower the cost of it to 500 because I'm cheap like that. And number of docks. Let's see if this will do anything. The it pretty much tells you what it is. So the number of docks means how much planes it can hold pretty much. So I'm going to go with 5 and let's see um, let's see um, what we're going to do is go ahead and search for a allied unit of some sort make sure to push control F search allied units scrolling up of course since we're already going down <clears throat> All right, since it finds that um, let's see we pretty much want to see what primary weapon we want the allied headquarters um, bases for the planes that way the whole entire building can fire upon other people if they're nearby so it can guard itself so we could either take the medium tank its primary weapon uh, 105 mm or we could simply go with an IFV w and any any type of uh, primary weapon would work um, uh, except for the dog cuz well you get the idea so let's we're gonna go with the let's let's go with the Mirage tank gun us. That's, that way it's good on infantry. So we're gonna select the primary weapon, all of it, that way we can transfer it to the building. And then back to control F and find the allied buildings. There. Yes, it's right there. I found it. <laughs> uh, anyways, Go ahead and scroll back down until you see the Air Force Command Center. Um, let's see, War Factory Command Center. Here we go. Um, 
it doesn't matter where you put the primary weapon um, just kind of put it above the you know this general area here like kind of above put it right below sight so I don't know it just seems re like a reasonable spot so just push control V after you've copied it and now <laughs> save it and your Air Force command base should have a Mirage gun attached to it. That way it can repel infantry units um, so it can have its own guard, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so yeah, test it out, open up your revenge, see if it works, uh, tell me how it turns out. And you can pretty much do this with any other building you want to. So, yeah, go test it out and um, happy modding. See ya.